Later in the episode, we are going to do a food and mead pairing. In the past, I have received complaints that my food pairings are too simple or simplistic. That will not be a problem this time. Welcome to Ask the Mead Maker, where I, Ricky the Mead Maker, answer your questions about mead making, mead drinking, mead brewing, and really, any question you're willing to send to me. The very first question this week comes from an interview I just did with Brittany from Fox 44, and she wanted to know, what is your most common question? I like it, because it's like a meta question, and I really wish the answer were, what is your most common question? Because then it would be meta and recursive. It's like the fractal of questions. But actually, my most common question is, where does your honey come from? Which I've answered in the past. It comes from Pete the beekeeper and a ton of bees. Our next question comes from a lot of people, actually, but most recently, Chris H., who wanted to know if Grunfell Meadery has any plans for making a higher octane, more honey wine-like mead. And the answer is no. I just had the most marvelous weekend at the Vermont Flower Show. And a lot of people wanted to know if they could get my kegs for their special events. And the answer is absolutely. If you have a caterer, since we're with Feral Distributing, almost anyone can get a hold of one of our kegs. If you want it for a private function, you can pick up one of our kegs at your local store where you buy beer, wine, cider, and mead. You just need to ask them to get one in for you. Another pro mead maker who is currently going through recipe development wrote to ask if there are any recipes I've had to abandon because the ingredients were too expensive to make an affordable product. And the answer is yes. I have a few that involve maple syrup, which is spendy, a few that involve high-end liquors poured right into the keg, but one of my initial recipes included saffron in it, and I, frankly, have no idea what two year ago Ricky was thinking. And now, as promised, it's time for the pairing portion of our episode. This week, I am pairing Fenberry Draft with what I like to call Pythagorean cookies. That's where I start with a circle, with a proscribed triangle, and another circle cut into the middle. I stick the entire thing in my mouth and pour Fenberry Draft through it. It's high-concept dining. Are you okay? Just gonna do my word now. Wave if you need the Heimlich maneuver. This week's word is patent opener. A patent opener looks like this, or about a million other things. It's an old time term for a bottle opener. Back in the day, these were called patent caps. They're only about a hundred years old. Before that, beer bottles and whatever else was closed with a cork and a cage. Patent opener, patent cap, there are words of the week. Keep sending your questions and I'll get to them as soon as possible. Cheers.